All right, well, this is my replication of uh, Tin Man's Mega Jewel. And it's not exactly like his. Uh, this is my my rendition of it. And uh, I've changed a few things so I didn't have the parts and I didn't want to invest the time or money to exactly replicate it uh, based on uh, the fact that it was a, a uh, description of how you could deceive somebody and fake a video. And this is uh, basically like what you did, uh, Tin Man. I, I have a 5 fared 2.7 volt super cap drawn about 40 milliamps with a label on it that looks makes it look like a 1,000 UF 16 volt cap. And uh, like I say, I've, I've changed a few things just because of the parts I had on hand. And there's the values. Uh, I have an air core coil with 26 gauge and 30 gauge wire. Those are the ohm, uh, ohms on the coil. And uh, this is the uh, 20th of May, 2014. And I didn't uh, want to take my microwave oven transformer apart, and I'm glad I didn't because uh, of what this was all about. Uh, the light is out of one of these dollar store uh, flashlights. It's nine LEDs. I was able to get it apart uh, without having to saw it. You just bang on it, and it comes out the front. And there's the system running. And uh, like I say, my coil is not like the microwave oven transform. It's just a air core coil with this uh, magnet wire on it. Uh, the light is out of that uh, flashlight. And right now I've got it running on a couple of AA batteries. There's the super cap simulating the label that you took off of an electrolytic cap and glued on the side of uh, that capacitor to make it look like it was a small cap, but that's not. That's a 5 farad 2.7 volt super cap. We take the battery off, and there's the system still running. Now, if that had been a 1,000 UF 16 volt cap, at the 40 milliamp draw, that would have dimmed down almost immediately and gone out. This will run for about half an hour on that uh, little super cap. It dims down and of course uh, the voltage uh, drops off, but uh, you do probably get the square wave out of those LEDs like you show. But anyway, I did want to thank you for what you did. It was a uh, reminder how we could be deceived uh, with these uh, devices that appear to be running at, at, at an over unity type of scenario when all they are is a deception. And this is uh, an example of that. now. Someone's going to say, oh, he's got a button cell on the back of it. Well, no, there's no button cell in there. This is um, just the lights. And like I say, I've, I've changed things around a little bit. But this was the big thing right here. This is a 5 farad 2.7 volt super cap that I've simply put a label on. And this is what you showed in your videos, how easy it would be to peel a label off one of these super uh, electrolytics and put it on a super capacitor and make it look like it was running uh, extremely efficiently. And uh, this coil here you could make up quite easily with the magnet wire instead of having to take apart a microwave oven uh, and just build your own coil. Uh, here again, this is how I did this. And I thank you, Tin Man, for sticking your neck out on this. A lot of people didn't like what you did, but I saw it as a great lesson and a reminder of how we have to be very careful about these videos of devices showing an over-unity when they're not. They're not even close. And this is what this thing is drawn is 40 milliamps at 3 volts to get the brightness out of those LEDs that I showed. And that's reality. That's just uh, the reality of the situation. Anyway, thanks, Tin Man, for what you did. I appreciate it. I saw that as a very valuable lesson for all of us.